What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here. Early morning for me anyways. And uh, I am going through a palette of mixed media that I purchased and I ran into something kind of interesting that I want to show you guys. So you guys can see a bunch of the boxes right here next to me. I buy palettes of media and video games and things like that to sell on Amazon and eBay. And uh, if we pan over to the messy garage right now, you could uh, see it's kind of all over the place. Uh, over there, we got a bunch of boxes of duds that I haven't brought to. I have a storage unit where I take my duds and everything like that, and I'm planning on doing a huge sale, uh, maybe 50 cents a piece, a buck a piece. I probably have a good five-ish thousand duds at this point over the past couple pallets, so that should be pretty crazy. And then... We have all of the good ones. Everything in here is good for Amazon or eBay. And uh, I'll give you guys a quick look inside. Let's see what we got. Oh, also, I got a couch in the garage now. <laughs> this is my little work section. I set up uh, our old couch because we got a new couch. And uh, I put a little table so it's like a mini living room in here. And uh, here's some boxes I'm going through. And I just bang through these boxes and I clean up the garage, hopefully. <laughs> But you can see what kind of stuff is in here. This box is just some TV series, complete series, but a lot of the boxes are broken. So something like this, even though it's worth like $60, $70 on Amazon, I can't sell that on Amazon and I cannot get a replacement case for this because it's not very universal. So something like this I would list on eBay, show the broken case. All the discs are perfect condition, but case is broken. Uh, we have a few Blu-ray sets. Uh, there's a Pokemon set down there. There's some CDs down there. Uh, they're not all DVDs. This box right here, well that box is DVDs. Let's see, here we go. Here's a cool box. This is mostly Blu-rays. We got some Blu-ray sets, uh, Criterion Collection, Criterion Collection. Uh, I think there's some 4Ks in here. So there's always a nice little mixture of things. So pretty sweet. That's what each one of these boxes are. There's a few of these boxes that are just CDs, but take a look at this. I just opened up my second to last box and it's all records. So this is the first time that this has happened. Now, normally in each box, I get around 100, 100 plus items. This looks like it's closer to 80 items. I don't know for certain, uh, might be a little bit less actually. So the price per piece in this box is technically more, but records should sell for more on average, I, I hope. So we're gonna take a look, see if the condition's good on these. I mean, the outer condition doesn't look great, but we won't know until we pull them out. So I'm gonna set the camera up. Let's dig through this, see if we have any big winners. I got my phone here. We're gonna look up prices for you guys live. I got all my replacement cases, uh, which I'm not gonna use right now. So let's, uh, let's dig in here and see what we got. All right, so let's dig in here, see what we got. First thing we have, oh, this is a calendar. Okay, so there's some calendars mixed in. I highly doubt these are gonna be worth anything since 2021 is halfway over, but we have a journey into 365 days into black history. So uh, the bottom is a little uh, dented up. We'll still scan this into Amazon, actually. I'm kind of curious to see if calendars still sell this time of year. Uh, maybe the rank is still decent and I could ship it in. Maybe people just want it for the pictures. Uh, maybe somebody just needs a calendar for the second half of the year. I don't know. Uh, I'm pulling up my Amazon seller app. We're going to scan the barcode. Okay, so there are no sellers on it. The rank is 806,000 in books with lots of good reviews. So maybe I could sell it in uh, used condition, saying there's some corner wear, 10, 20 bucks. I don't know. I mean, that's that's fine because well, I don't think I ever mentioned my price per good, my price per item in the bigger boxes with that many items, all the DVDs, CDs, I'm usually looking at about 80 cents or so per item. This is probably closer to a buck 50 an item because there might be a little more than half of what I'd get in another box. So let's scan this other calendar right here, Blue Ridge Parkway. It's kind of nice. Now this one's new. The calendar has no damage, but some of the seal is torn. Again, nobody on this listing. Um, not a great rank, 347,000 in office products. Maybe I'll pop this up on the screen right here for you guys. Uh, 347,000 in office products. So, eh, well, I, you know, maybe I'll just try to send these in and we'll see what happens together. I have no idea. And excuse me, I, I feel like I look really tired because I feel really tired. Um, this is like the most caffeine I'll drink. It's like these little 60 milligram drink things. 
and uh, they should work. I don't know. I don't really drink coffee or anything. So here we go. We'll pull out another load of stuff. Now these, oh, there's one more calendar and then we're into the records. So let's look up this last calendar. Ooh, it's stuck. Okay. Left a little bit of residue on the last record, but that should be okay. This one's actually brand new sealed, no damage to it at all. This is Charles Wasaki. He makes puzzles. I always see these puzzles when I'm at Walmart or Target. Scan it in. Had an original price of $14.99 on it. Has a good rank, but it is selling for $7.98. Only one review, um, but the rank is decent. You'd make four bucks on it, so I guess I could send that in. All right. Now on to the records. Hopefully we have no more calendars in here. Okay, so here's a record that is empty. Nothing in here, just complete empty shell. It's Halsey. Now we have an interesting thing here. I'm gonna scan the, um, there's a barcode on the back and let's see what the front looks like. Okay, so it didn't come up. Let me try and scan the artwork on the front. Okay, so we have something interesting here. Now there is no record in here, but I don't know if that's actually Halsey's autograph. I have to see by going to Google or something and seeing if, because in some of these boxes, I get like a stack of autographed CDs that I end up listing on eBay. I'm not really sure if this is real. So let's do some quick research. I'm going to see if it's real. Just type in Halsey autograph. Because then I'd probably be able to sell just the artwork over on eBay. Oh yeah, that looks super legit. Comparing it to images I'm seeing online right now. Okay, so yeah, she used to sign. This is the exact same. You could kind of see um, right there, see her autograph, and it's on the same vinyl cover as this. So somebody posted something on Autograph Live, Halsey's signature opinion. Seems okay, assuming it's not a one-off, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, was wondering if, yeah, so this is probably legit. Um, I'll try to clean the back of this because I got some residue on here, some goo gone very lightly. Should take that off and otherwise, I mean the, the cover is not in great condition but I do have the autograph. So we're going to take it one little step further and look into eBay and see how much a Halsey autograph sells for. So there are 51 completed listings and 37 sold listings so it doesn't sell super regular. Now this exact album right here with the record in it and an autograph sold for $135. I'll pop that up on the screen right here for you guys. So I'm thinking without the record, we could still make some money on this. I'm um, seeing another one sold for 168. A bunch of people are selling just posters for 25, 27, 30. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking we could list this since I don't think there's any what's listed right now actually we have 74 listed this exact vinyl cheapest one I'm seeing is 60 bucks okay so 60 bucks I'm saying we listed for 30 not bad that was a long okay so this is in here which is good okay we have Mumford and Sons it's like a double LP uh, for 35 bucks 22.99 now 22.99 after fees I want to see how the condition of these records look that's very clean. So, that is good. That is good. Okay, cool. So, good condition. We are going to slide this off to the side. That's another 20-ish dollars. And remember guys, I only paid a buck 50 each on these. So, if even if the cheapest thing I'm only profiting 5 bucks on, that's still amazing because of how many are in here. We have another one right here. This is Imagine Dragons selling on Amazon for $38.99 used. I'm going to make $28.50 after fees. Um, again, decent condition. You could see the bottom down here got jammed a little bit. So I'll price mine a little bit lower. Say that in the condition notes. Uh, be, you know, as long as the record is in good condition, which should be. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. It's like green and see through, barely see through. But that is really nice. Okay. So. So there we go. Now, I thought maybe that green was something special. It's not. The title even says trans green right on it. So I assume that's what it is. It says it's Target exclusive translucent green. So very cool. Great rank. Well, it doesn't have the rank showing up, but almost 6,000 reviews means it sells all the time. 
awesome, super happy about that. Now guys, this is just proof that there are other ways to make money selling online than just going to thrift stores. My thrift stores personally have been horrible. That's why I haven't been posting a lot of thrift videos. I've actually gone to my local thrift store maybe four or five times in the past few months. So really not often at all. And every single time besides one time, I left empty handed. And that one time I think all I bought was a PlayStation 3 there um, because they had a decent price on it. So besides that, it has been very, very, very bad. But I did travel to another thrift store semi recently and I did actually fill my cart. So that video should be coming soon. I just have to do a recap of everything I bought. It's actually all still sitting in the car. So I gotta pull that out. But let's continue with these records because there's a lot in here. We have another calendar. Uh, snowboarding 2021 so this is kind of cool because it's the middle of July right now um, my birthday was a week ago happy birthday to me and um, I'm thinking that yeah this will still have some value because the winter months aren't here yet it has 1.5 million rank in books I'll pop this up for you guys 1.5 million rank in books is not great not bad uh, you can see brand new selling for 14 bucks used it's only going for 620 technically this is brand new um, but the seal is torn uh, oh and there's a scratch on the front so this actually won't be worth anything we'll just slide this under the table and we could donate it if we want all right here we go we have queen greatest hits 2 back of the record horrible condition got a little messed up but as long as the records inside are in good condition people will still buy them for the music and um, you know I give them a discounted rate. So here we go. This is selling for $46 new and $45 used. So if I price mine at 30 bucks because of the damaged artwork, I can still make about $20 on it. Not bad. Here's another. This is, who is this? You guys know who this is? This uh, little Juice World. Okay, they, I, I don't know. All the rappers kind of look the same to me because I don't really listen to rap. So I thought it was Lil Uzi. <laughs> I don't even know a little Uzi song. I actually do like Juice World though, so that's cool. Um, brand new, selling for $42, used, selling for $43. So it's inflated, means I could probably get about $40 for this. Um, a little bit of wear, not much though. You can see some corner damage possibly on camera. Um, nice, and it's in here, which is good. And of course, I'll double check all the condition of the records, make sure that they play good. I do have a record player, so I could test them if I want to. Usually, just a visual inspection is fine. Uh, if you see maybe a scratch on it, then I will pop it on the record player and put the needle right where the scratch is and let it go a few times, see if you hear any distortion. Here's uh, an old one randomly thrown in here. Uh, we have Walter Beethoven Symphony Number no. 5. I don't think this is going to be worth anything. There's a thrift store price on it of $3.95, so I'm just going to set it off to the side. We'll actually stick it under the table. All right. Oh, no. What happened here? This actually might come off. I think it's just a layer of something on the front. Look at that. Looks like poop. I don't know what that is. Uh, Eric Clapton and Friends. So you got John Mayer, Willie Nelson, Tom Petty, Don White. Very cool. Scan it in. And I'm gonna try my best to clean this. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. It has to be. <laughs> because I don't wanna sell something that looks like this. Uh, new selling for 36 and used selling for 47, so it's inflated. Um, oh, actually, it's because Amazon's in at 36. The next person's at 53. So maybe when Amazon sells out, you can still try to get 40 bucks for this. Um, but worst comes to worst, you list it for 30, you make 20. Not bad. So that seems to be the case with these. Oh my gosh, another damn. What is going on here? Like this one's so damaged. Ugh. This is Selena. Not Selena Gomez, but just Selena. And you could see there's like a huge hole right there. This would be something I'd have to pop up on eBay, but we'll just check Amazon. As long as the records themselves are in good shape, I could just, you know, list it saying damaged artwork, records are good, and sell it super cheap. Um, yeah, sell for 30 bucks, so maybe I get 15 out of it just for the records themselves. Eh, I don't know. Uh, what do we have? Yeah. Laura Logic. Never heard of them. Kind of interesting. I don't think it's going to be worth anything. It seems pretty old. Try and take a picture of the artwork. Not working. I'll type it in. Laura Logic. What? Pedigree Charm. Nothing came up. I don't, I doubt this is worth anything, so we'll set it underneath. Here we go. Um, the Rolling Stones, there's a sticker stuck here. 
That is actually probably pretty easy to take off. Uh, there's also a sticker closing it, which is kind of a shame. Um, it's not in the best condition, but again, I'll try my best to clean these. I'll take the records out and then I'll hit it with a heat gun and peel the stickers off and then wipe down the artwork. It's, all, it's actually only selling for uh, 20 bucks, 17 bucks. You'd make about five bucks after fees. Um, because that's new, so I'd have to price it a little lower used. Um, is it worth all that work to take that off? Probably not, so maybe I'll just list it the way it is. Here we go, Jesse Winchester, Talk of Memphis. I doubt that's worth anything. But we did have a few good winners in the beginning here. $8.99, you'd only make 89 cents after fees, not worth it. All my duds, I wanna have a big media sale, uh, post it online and just, you know, have shelves just filled with media. And when I say duds, it's things that still sell online like that for $8.99, right? A lot of these DVDs that I don't wanna sell online because I'll only make a buck or less on them, but they're still selling for six, seven dollars, it's just the fees are crazy. So if I'm selling everything for 50 cents to a dollar each, that's still a great deal for somebody that wants it for themselves. Um, I don't know how well the sale will do. I'll treat it like a tag sale or a yard sale, garage sale. We'll see what happens. I, I've never tried it before, but I have amassed a lot of bulk media. Here's something really cool. Now the front of the artwork is mint because the cover's still on it. It's The Who selling for uh, $30, but the back of the artwork is heavily damaged. So again, I'll have to knock off like 10 bucks. So that seems to be the case with this box which is fine. And right as I say that, this one is in like perfect condition. So you never know what you're gonna find. This is Marilyn Manson, selling for $40. So that's cool. Here we go, this is cool. Um, Mac DeMarco, again, really good condition. The seal is still on here. Um, it's just ripped up. So we know that the record hasn't been played. Uh, selling for $40, okay, cool. So two huge winners in a row. And then I just found a record. The Dead Kennedys, I know the Dead Kennedys. Super dusty, I'm gonna have to clean it. Um, but if I don't find the sleeve in there, I might be able to sell just this on eBay. Another empty one, this is Maya Hawk Blush and it is autographed. So weird, we have a couple empty ones but they're autographed, so that's cool. I think I can still get some good money for these autographed ones. So what I'm thinking with the autographed ones, um, Maybe it's people that already have the record and they want to replace their cover, their artwork with something with an autograph. Or maybe they just want the autograph to hang on the wall and they don't really need the record. I don't know, but they are selling. Granted, I haven't seen any sell without the record included, but people are selling posters of autographs and that's pretty much what that is. So I assume it's gonna work. And I pulled two more calendars, yay, not really. <laughs> We have Northern Lights and Fairy Houses. Ooh, Fairy Houses just looks like a bunch of bird houses. Good rank, actually. Uh, 453,000 in books, lots of reviews, selling for 14 bucks right now. And this one is brand new sealed. So, okay, I will take it. And the next one, Northern Lights, uh, again, brand new sealed. There's a couple little tears in the plastic, but I don't think that would really be that big of an issue. Uh, let's see what this is selling for. Um, not as good of a rank, but still not bad. 826,000 in, whoa, I just sneezed. 826,000 in books, selling for 28 bucks. So again, not bad, okay. Here we go, we have another record that is empty, but autographed, this Maya Hawk blush. I actually don't know who that is. I don't know any of those songs. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look it up. I gotta, I gotta look her up on eBay, see if her autograph sells for anything. So now I got two of them. Ooh, we just sold something on eBay. I sold a DVD for $7.99. Uh, not amazing, but I also sold a CD this morning for 16 something, $16.56. So, okay, eBay, you're doing all right today. So, Maya Hawk signed. There we go. Um, yeah, so she signed a bunch of these. Oh, from Stranger Things. She must do the Stranger Things. Maybe this. I ran out of recording footage. Um, I should probably speed this up. Yeah, so as long as you put it in the description, it should be fine. Uh, it's selling for 40 bucks, so it is what it is. We're gonna fly through some of these. I'm not gonna do the entire box, obviously, now. Uh, we actually have two of those Abigolds. This one's in better condition. The back's in worse condition, though. So, 40, 80. Uh, this is AMO Tick 101, or 11. 
I'm hoping to find some of those signed records just floating around like this, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Here we go. We got Harry Styles, and this one's in really good condition, so that's nice. Uh, we will look that up. It's gotta be worth something. Ah, not that much. 30 bucks new, uh, 22 used, so $12 after fees. I mean, I'll take the 12 bucks. Again, I'm in them about buck 50, so I'm really making like 10 50 there, which is still not bad. This one's in really rough condition. It's like ripped on the bottom. This Imagine Dragons. Oh, we already looked this one up earlier. Um, this one right here is um, RKS. Don't know who that is. I'm sure I would know these people if I heard a couple of the songs, but... Oh, wow, this one's really good. And this is clean, so that's nice. New selling for 55, used selling for 58, so it's inflated. So we're looking at about probably closer to $30 profit after all fees. But right here, a tribe called Quest, the anthology. Pretty nice. Again, you could see... I keep trying to show it, but that ring, it's just like dirt. It's a layer of something. I think I could wipe that away. But the front, you could see it's been torn up there, but a lot of it's dirt. So we'll see. I have really no idea. Uh, Tribe Called Quest, come on. Not bad. Uh, new selling for 37, used selling for 60. So again, inflated. Probably sell it for like 25. New 42, used 70. Um, now 42, yeah, going rate's about 42. So maybe since it's damaged, 30 bucks. And that's the thing, like, it's cool to give people that big discount, right? Uh, you see it all the time on Amazon, Amazon Warehouse selling things in acceptable condition and they'll be selling video games or DVDs and say large mark on disc, case damaged, artwork damaged, right? And you order something from Amazon, Amazon themselves in acceptable condition, you're getting a trashed item. A lot of the times those items don't even, they don't look like they're going to work. Most of the time they do, I've never had an issue where it doesn't work, but you know, it'll be messed up items and I buy stuff from there all the time just if I need the item, if I don't really care about condition then that's fine, right? Um, I was buying pool floats for my pool out back and I was buying uh, acceptable condition Amazon warehouse returns for a giant dragon pool float because it came repackaged and it said large mark on item. There, there must have must have like slid across the factory floor because there were scuffs on the bottom of the float and that's it. It doesn't matter because it's floating in the pool. You never see the bottom. It, blows my mind I saved like 20 bucks on this giant inflatable dragon which is now actually dying in the pool I'll show you guys so here is the pool and if you want to take a look at the dragon we got to walk around and here is mr. dragon he's looking a little sad <laughs> he uh, I got to pump up his neck a little bit more again but normally it stands up like that but he's running out of air. He's been floating in here for a, a little over a week now. But not bad. Looking good. Got to clean it a bit. Oh, I just realized I'm zoomed in. Let's zoom out a bit. There we go. Uh, yeah, he's looking like a, a lovely little dragon. There's a glove in here. What the heck? So we have a bunch of records left. If you guys want me to go through the rest of them, because I think we've done about half, just to see if we have any home runs, let me know down below in the comments and I will finish going through these. But the video is long enough. We went through a bunch of them. Hopefully I gave you guys some cool little tips on some records that sell. And guys, records do sell on Amazon. There is money to be made selling everything, even used, you know, even damaged. Uh, again, there you could sell pretty much whatever you can on there as long as you describe it accurately. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.